Hello everyone, Happy New Year! I'm very excited to head into a new year of sewing and crafting. Uh, so 2020 definitely had a lot of firsts, uh, things that I tried out for the first time, um, twin needles, lycra fabrics, denim, things like that. I wanted to make this video to reflect a little bit on the progress that I've made and to maybe inspire myself and maybe others to have fun projects in the upcoming year. Whenever I have a Instagram post or some kind of information about the things that I will show you, I will link them in the description box. Uh, so have a look, I will definitely share all of the resources in there. Let's jump into this little review. Let me start by showing you the five most worn items of last year. The first one was my very first pair of pants. I made these linen pants. Uh, I'm just very proud of these. They were the first pants I made. They are super comfy. They have an elasticated waistband. The fabric is just stunning. It's this herringbone linen. There's definitely quite a lot of little mistakes in here, but I wear these all the time in summer and I also wore them to the wedding of two of my best friends. And so I have a lot of good memories um, connected to these pants. I also got a lot of wear out of this little top. It's a free pattern and it has these very pretty little bows on the top. Super quick make, they are lined so you can play with the contrasting colors. Uh, double V in the front and the back. It's in a linen thrifted fabric. It's very breathable, so really, really loved wearing this in summer. After this more summery uh, stuff, we're heading into colder weather, um, and I made two of the same pattern, so I will consider them as one. The first one that I made is this version. It's the Megan Nielsen Rowan turtleneck. Made it out of this Mind the Maker stretchy fabric. Wear it all the time. When I made this, I did uh, find that the fit was a bit too tight on the shoulders, so I made a broad shoulder adjustment for my second version. That's this one. So this is the second Megan Nielsen Rowan top that I made. Beautiful stripy, light, stretchy fabric, perfect for layering. Um, it has this mock turtleneck as well. Love, 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 love these. And to go with these two Megan Nielsen tops, I also made my very first pair of jeans. I thrifted an old pair of Wrangler jeans, unpicked all of the seams, and made myself a pair of Dawn jeans. And I am in love with these. They just fit so well. It's made from thrifted jeans. It kind of looks like it's been worn already. I like the details or the finishes, the personalized cork patch. These jeans are everything. I wear them constantly, especially when we go on walks or when we're outside for a long time because they're super nice and warm. And I mean, oh, sometimes I just have Megan Nielsen everything days. <laughs> for my last favorite uh, item, I uh, will choose a accessory and I've made this bum bag out of cork. I upcycled an old bum bag that I had uh, from years ago so I could reuse the hardware, so the zip and the, the strap. The cork that I used is not the best quality so I don't know how long it will uh, last for but it's just... Uh, <laughs> I love it so much. So that's my fifth most worn item of the year, but I made a lot more, so I will show you now what else I made this last year. For my spring and summer wardrobe, I made a few items. The first one is this Tulia tea by Sewing by Mason. I found it thanks to the fold line, they mentioned it in one of their podcasts. It's made out of this white creamy um, textured fabric, very lightweight, um, and yeah, I didn't get that much wear out of it, but I think I might be able to get more wear out of it 
next year. Then I also made a skirt. It's a little wrap skirt, very flowy. This was originally a H&M dress, also uh, like slightly textured fabric. It's viscose, it's very lightweight, and I decided to make a wrap skirt out of it. It took me forever because I didn't have enough fabric for the pattern that I wanted to make. In the end, it got a bit too short. So I made, with some extra fabric, some tube skirt to go in it. I did end up wearing this quite often uh, in the summer when it was very warm. Even though it is quite short, um, it's very flowy and airy and very comfortable to wear. And then I made another item without uh, using a pattern and it's this top. It's a bat winged, very long and flowy top with a hood. I made this one based on the top that my colleague Stephanie has. Uh, whenever she was wearing it, I always thought it looked stunning. So I asked if I could borrow it, basically make my own pattern based on her top. And this is how it uh, ended up coming out of my sewing machine. I do love having this in my wardrobe and it's super comfy without feeling too slouchy. This fabric is a uh, viscose, uh, it's an atelier brunette fabric. So that also helps to elevate the top uh, quite a lot. And then in autumn, I decided I wanted to have a pair of dungarees. And that's exactly what I made. <laughs> I made this pair of super comfortable, uh, very rustic looking dungarees out of the same linen as my top with the little knots that I showed before. It's lined with this super cool um, little stuff fabric. This was also made without a pattern, but I used the uh, rosary apparel tutorial that she made on her YouTube channel. So that was definitely a bucket list make, making my own dungarees. I think I might make a new pair next year, but uh, maybe one that is a little bit more fitted. Uh, but we will have to see. Another bigger project that I made this year was my boyfriend's birthday present. I made him a personalized robe. This was such a fun project. I embroidered his initials on it. I used a waffle knit and then as a lining I used this just cotton fabric which we found on the market in France together. Um, he loved it. He wears it a lot. So very very happy with the, this make. I also made a little cardigan out of a thrifted blanket. Um, it's a self-drafted pattern and uh, I didn't do a very good job finishing this. You can see this. I'm not very proud of this. And because of it, I don't end up wearing it very often. I like the idea of it, but the execution was not that great. So yeah, you cannot win them all. And finally, I have another piece that I never really finished properly. Uh, it's another Tulia top, but this time long-sleeved and in a ribbon knit stretchy fabric. But for some reason, I cannot bring myself to finish it. I, I do like it a lot. I like how the stripes uh, work together with the cut of the pattern. So I hope that next year I can finish it properly. Then we're moving on to the next category, swimwear and underwear. So I made my very first um, swimwear this year. And um, I will be honest, it was quite the challenge. Uh, lots of new techniques, new fabrics. With swimwear and underwear, you have a bit less margin for error or in inaccuracies because, you know, you want them to cover everything that they need to cover. I made this bikini and this one piece swimsuit. I used La Joueuse sewing pattern from um, a French book that I have. I will link it down below. And for this one, I used a bikini bottom that I already had and traced that pattern. And the top looks like this. And encouraged by the swimsuit adventures, I decided to make myself a bra top. Uh, this is just a little bralette with uh, different panels. On the inside it's petrol blue. It's super comfy. 
Uh, it's exactly made to measure and um, it does what it's supposed to do. So I wear this very often. And to go with it, I made this pair of underpants. It's super comfy. It's the same fabric as my um, Megan Nielsen Rowan top from before. It's just super soft. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> and then I also made a pair of underpants for my boyfriend. I used an old elastic from underpants that he didn't wear anymore. And on the inside, it has little bears. <laughs> so that's the underwear part of this video. I will be moving on to some more accessories. I already showed you my bum bag, but I also made two little um, drawstrings bag. One with cork on the bottom and one with a velvety bottom. And they're just super practical, very easy to make, happy. Because it was a year of the pandemic, I made a lot of masks. <laughs> uh, I made some for ourselves, I made some for friends and family, I sold quite a few. Um, and then in the end, I decided to make my own sewing pattern for the masks, just because I wanted to have a pattern that was comfy to wear, also to talk with, and that was um, nice and snug at the nose and on the chin. So I made my own pattern. If you're interested, by the way, you can download it in the link down below. So um, have a look if you're looking for a new sewing pattern for the masks. The last accessory I wanted to show you are scrunchies. I have made a lot of scrunchies this year. Fabrics that I have left over from projects, even some silks, a Christmassy one. <laughs> so that was definitely a big project as well. <laughs> now we're heading into the more miscellaneous items. The first uh, items are these little makeup pads. I use them all the time, so made quite a few of these. Then something I'm oddly happy with, and it's a bit strange, I made this. <laughs> it's our little toilet setup with spare toilet paper rolls and hand towels. It's made out of this beautiful linen. You can see it's a waffle knit linen. They make me feel like I'm an adult that has her life together and that um, has a mini spa in her house. Another quite random one uh, is this one. I've been making uh, scouts shawls for my scouts group. They uh, needed new ones and uh, they asked if my friends and I wanted to make some. So yeah, that has been a project. So that was everything I made last year. It's quite a lot. I'm very happy with the variety of things that I made. Um, quite a lot for myself, but also for others. I sold some things. I made my own pattern. Uh, if you're interested to follow along on my adventure, please um, yeah, do so. <laughs> you can find all of the information down below. And um, I wish you a very happy, crafty and safe 2021. And thank you for sticking with me. Bye.